Hey guys, I just wanted to follow up with a quick video to illustrate some key differences between today's real estate market and that leading up to the real estate market crash in 2008. I know there are a lot of parallels drawn sometimes between those two periods of time, but there's actually some really significant differences that I think people need to be aware of. So first and foremost, lending guidelines have gotten much more stringent since that crash. I think we learned our lesson in many ways. Um, and that's kind of illustrated by the average FICO score for first lien mortgage holders in this country today. Um, as of right now, it's a 751 versus 699 in 2010 after the crash had already started to take effect. So uh, borrowers are generally more credit worthy and they feel like they're a safer bet than they were back then where loans are being given out kind of willy nilly. Second key thing to keep in mind is that there are fewer adjustable rate mortgages in the marketplace now than there were back then. So an adjustable rate mortgage is when your rate kind of starts out fixed for the first several years and then is subject to fluctuation after that. Um, as of right now, there are only about 8% of those types of loans out in the marketplace versus like 36% before the crash. Also, lenders are being better about making sure that that borrower can afford that loan, even if it like maxes out at its index. Um, so even if that does happen, they know that that borrower is still good to go to cover that loan and they're not gonna be kind of left holding the bag with a loan that they can't afford. Um, also, homeowners have a lot more equity in their properties after the last couple of years uh, when prices have been going up so much. And that means that they have more tappable equity that they could use for other things, but more people are kind of keeping that equity underneath them and just letting it marinate as opposed to like farming it out to other projects and leaving themselves vulnerable. So those are a couple of key factors to consider and like reasons why we're not in the same situation now that we were in before that crash. So. If you know someone that would be interested in this content, please share the video. And if anyone has questions for me, I'm always happy to chat.